All right, good morning, guys. go now we're back in action <laughs> so yeah today is about day six it's gonna be about a week of when I really started and I had these epiphanies and I was like I need to get my life back on track and stop feeling bad for myself and really do this whole mental health journey thing today we're gonna talk a lot about self-love because you need a lot of it to get by on this little mental health journey that you're about to embark on I know I've had to work on it consistently for the past year and a half and it's just now that I'm like, okay, you need to do your self-love stuff every single day, not every once every four or five days, like every single day take care of yourself, every single day make sure you look good, you feel good, make sure you take care of yourself because you can only save yourself. No one else is going to save you on this planet besides yourself. Well, I know I've done a video on self-love kind of before. And that's when I think you guys can kind of tell I was in a different place in my life. Like, I was starting to be happy, but I was really trapped in my mind. Like, I think you guys will be able to tell the difference now that I'm back to, like, my little peppy, giddy-up self that's, like, ready to conquer the world rather than, like, oh my fucking god, what is going on type of MRSA. Because there are two different types. There's the one that's, like... I love life, like let's keep going, and then there's just, oh shit, we are on a rock in the middle of space, and all these people care about is money, all they care about is Instagram, all they care about is whatever else people care about, and I'm over here just like in a corner freaking out that we're all going to die one day, and yeah, so... That's my brain. To me, self-love, the difference now is just genuinely loving for yourself, loving yourself and looking at you, like take yourself out of your body, like clone myself right now and really understand that this is your best friend. Like this is your best friend ever, 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 like you have it all in you like i know that there's so much love inside of me i know there's so much inside of me that i could be giving to myself rather than looking for all these people to give it to and just like look in the mirror and be like wait a second no like you have to give it to yourself because once i give it to myself i know i'll be able to love so much more to give to other people so self-love <laughs> So self-love to me is just basically realizing you are your own best friend and wanting what is best for your best friend because I know with my best friend and my best friends in the past, I have genuinely wanted the best for them ever, 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 ever. So lately I've been super big into self-love, especially the past six days because I know I need to start loving myself a lot more. Um, something I learned in my 5 Mio DMT experience was that mainly my biggest takeaway was is that I needed love and I needed a lot of love. Um, in my childhood, I know I didn't receive a lot of love opposed to other children. Um, I don't know why that is and I actually was laying in bed this morning thinking of that because I have a therapy session today with my mom. I kind of want to talk about that today in my therapy session because my dad wasn't affectionate, my mom wasn't affectionate, um, my family's just not big on the whole affection thing, no one's really like lovey-dovey, no one says like I love you, it's just like very robotic in a sense and it really messes you up. You think that, oh you're just raised that way, that just means you're going to be that way, but no it's like your child, like, your child self understands that, like, you didn't receive enough love and you need love. And that's all you're searching for is love. 
So I've had to realize that if anyone's going to give me love, it's going to be me giving myself love. So I need to start doing that because the more I love myself, the more I have love for myself, the more love I'll be able to give others and the more I will feel, I'll just be a better person. When you're filled with love, you just have better intentions, you're a better human, you you have a bigger, better daily lifestyle, I guess you could say. So. That's what I want to show you guys today, and that's what I kind of want to talk to you guys about today. And again, in all of my videos, these are just from personal experiences. This is my personal opinion. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to tell you what to do or that, you know, yeah. These are just things that have worked on my life and that helped my life a lot. Okay, so... And also, I'm just not a very hungry person. I know... A lot of people struggle with this never-ending stomach feeling and I just definitely don't have that. If anything, I get nauseous at the smell of food when I'm not hungry or just food in general makes me feel gross. I don't know if that's like a blessing or a curse because don't get me wrong, sometimes I really do enjoy food. But majority of the times, like, I have a really hard time with it and I have to, like, force myself to eat. So, and I think it's honest, I don't know if it's a form of stress or what it could be a form. I really, I'm very baffled by it as to what it is because I know it can't be very healthy because I know food, food is the number one drive in the human body, in the human brain, like food. At the end of the day, it comes down to food when it comes to survival. So food should be like my top priority, but I don't know why it's not. So again, I think it has something to do with like not having a lot of self-love because I know your stomach like forms with your eating habits and I just know I, bird, I eat like a bird. So what I've been really working on is eating a big nutritious breakfast. Mmm. Nice. Self love. <laughs> okay, so I have my beautiful little lox breakfast bagels and my organic pomegranate seeds. I need to take off the lid too. Let's get this party started. Um, I'm actually going to set you guys up over here. Okay, so we are back in action. So the house is basically all clean. The only thing I have left to do is maybe vacuum, and I vacuumed yesterday, so I might not have to. But, so the house is finally clean. I normally am all ready, and then I have, I give myself about 15 to 20 minutes to just relax, eat my breakfast, either enjoy my book or a TV show I need to catch up on or that I've been wanting to watch. I'll just like watch an episode or something and just give myself that time to enjoy the rest of the morning because right now it's, I have about an hour left until it, or no, two hours left until it's noon. So I still have a little bit of the morning left, but I like to just like kind of enjoy the morning. This is when I'm drinking my coffee. So I have coffee a little bit later than everyone else. I kind of just like, my shower, my shower will be my coffee and then I just keep going like I'm normally good. So this is just my time to kind of sit there and just enjoy the morning for what it is. Mm. So, and then I also, I give myself until I finish my kombucha, which takes me a while. So I try to enjoy everything. Um, but I've been drinking kombucha every day for like the past, gosh, year now. Yeah, I drink kombucha all the time and honestly, this is one of the best drinks you can drink for yourself on the daily. I literally drink one every single day because when I got super sick, um, when I was super stressed out, they gave me a pill that basically took out all the good bacteria out of my stomach and it really messed me up like so bad. Like everything in my body went to shit and I'm not even kidding, like every part of my body went bad and I had to learn how to pick myself back up. I went the I went a complete holistic route. I didn't take any other medication after that because medication is what got me there. So I definitely didn't trust the doctor after that. So I just did a bunch of research and I figured out how to get my gut health back to normal. I figured out how to get myself like, to gain weight again. I just 
figured out basically the cure to all the problems I was having. And this was definitely one of my key ingredients daily. I used to take those like little shot probiotic things and I honestly just can't stand them. So I drink this and I also take probiotic gummies. So I feel like that levels it out. So my kombucha, coffee, pomegranates, and salmon breakfast sandwich, and a good book or a good TV show. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna enjoy that and see you for some more self-love stuff. There's a difference. <laughs> yeah. Oop. My therapy session starts in one minute, so I gotta go, but I will talk to you guys at, about it after. I don't wanna record in there. Okay, I am done with therapy on my way home. And wow, this is the first time I have cried in therapy, and this is like three months deep now. And it's all because I am recording and I'm like realizing like what I want to talk about before my therapy session and today it was really weird because my mom went on a girls trip this past weekend and they did um, I guess a reading with some psychic and my aunt she got that she needs to practice a lot more self-love like that's like the first thing my mom said to me I was like I'm making a video on self-love today what are the odds of that and then in therapy like I taught I ended up taking not taking over the conversation but directing it because normally my therapist will ask like so what do you guys want to talk about today and normally like I let my mom kind of take the reins and talk but today like I just really wanted to learn why I don't have a lot of self-love and like why I actually have a hard time loving others because if you've never met me before or if you have met me before I am very I guess what people, my mom said that my stepdad describes me as stiff. Like if you go to hug me, it's like a board. Um, I'm just really not affectionate. I don't like, I'm not really lovey-dovey. Like I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm just very upright. Not uptight, like my personality isn't uptight, but I come off that way because I'm just very like stiff. And even when I ride a horse, like, people always compliment me on how I ride a horse, which is because I'm so stiff, like, it just, my back and my posture are great because of it. But my therapist was, like, walking me through some stuff and, like, talking me through it. And I had the biggest realization, and I haven't ever said this out loud to anyone. I, like, really don't talk about it. Like, I don't, I never really talked about it. I think I said it every now and then to a few people, but they really didn't hear me or, like, understand. But basically we got to the root issue as to why I don't know how to be affectionate and I don't have a lot of self-love in a sense. And what my therapist brought out of me today was, or at least what I brought of myself today is, my dad was an alcoholic and some days when he would come home drunk from the bar or a baseball game or a tournament, he would just find me and hug me and then end up laying on top of me and basically pass out and he did this a lot and it was nothing sexual because that's one of the things my therapist wanted to go over it was to make sure nothing was sexual about it. and there's nothing sexual about it but my dad was not an affectionate person at all and the only time he was when he was super drunk and that as what she explained to me since it happened for so long like I was it started for, since ever I could remember he would just come in my room either tell me the same repeating story over and over again and then end up hugging me and falling asleep with me or just being so drunk that all he does is hold me and then fall asleep on top of me and I would have like many panic attacks as he'd be on top of me super drunk and asleep because it's like I had no way of getting him off of me it's like have you ever tried to get a 180 pound man off of you when they're super drunk like you can't especially an eight-year-old little girl so it created this panic in me and this like I just ever since then I just I stopped being affectionate because it like it really gave me like a bad relationship with hugging and stuff like that and over the years it's just become an unconscious thing that I'm not I was never aware of until this very day so my therapist gave me a few exercises to do and I'm gonna practice them 444. 
and but one of the main things she wants me to do is go to an Al in all meeting, Al in all, all in all. It's for children that grew up with an alcoholic or parents that have an alcoholic son or daughter. It's just basically for anyone that's being affected by substance abuse or alcoholism. So she told me that I should definitely just go to one just to see if it's for me. So this week I'm really going to try because every single time she gives me a project or homework of something to do, same with my life coach, same with every single type of person I've had in my life, I just do it because I'm that desperate to be different. I'm constantly working towards being my better self and just striving to be more, to be greater. So if you've had a father or mother that struggled with alcoholism and you had similar experiences, just know that like there's so many of us out there, including me, being raised by an alcoholic is something that only people that have been raised by alcoholics understand. It's a weird, it's a weird situation that you can't really describe. And she said by going to those meetings, it will help me so much because I'll, be, I'll hear that I'm not alone, I'll hear the other stories, I'll hear similar stories. So I'm super excited to do that for myself because I really do think I need to meet new people that kind of understand that part of me or that understand that because it is really hard to and when these things are so engraved in your subconscious mind and who you are as a person it's very hard to make them not you because what she talked to me today about she's like you need to stop talking to yourself so negative like you don't have a darkness side to you you have a dad that brought out darkness in you that you hold on but it's not you it's him it's what he did like you're not the alcoholic you're not the alcoholic you're not the person that did that like stop talking to yourself like that and it really like to see because she <laughs> this therapist is great like i'm so grateful this for this therapist like i'm so grateful she is helping me so much more than i could imagine like but she was basically and this is what my life coach said they both they both said the same thing like just stop taking on the blame of what other people did to you and like free yourself of it so whew, I'm really going to try to do that um but I am here at a gas station about to get gas and then I need to go to the ranch and feed horses so I'll see you guys at the ranch So we are here back at the ranch and I feel so much more at peace. <laughs> the moment I start to think of my past, the moment, the moment I start to get too caught up in my head, like this is definitely one of my safest places ever. I'm here with all my animals who are so mad at me because I'm talking to you guys instead of paying attention to them. It's getting dark and I have to feed horses and I'm scared. So I'm going to let out my dogs. I'm going to give them so much love, give all my horses a big hug and kiss because I have them. And they are my little superhumans. Oh, I love them so much. I'm getting tears in my eyes just thinking of it. So I gotta go give them love. <laughs> Day is almost over. It is 845. Actually. So I am about to perform my last way of self-love. So now I am all ready for my little self-love bath, which is literally my favorite time of day, like bath time. Oh my gosh. So this is my first time having a bath again. And honestly, like I, I, I forgot how much I missed baths, especially meditating in them as much as I have recently. So I'm just gonna start doing that. But I wanted to share with you guys how important baths are to me because if you don't take baths or if you haven't taken a bath in quite some time and you need a little bit of loving on yourself, a self-love bath might be 
your little escape that you can try out today because honestly, give yourself that warm water, that soothing music, and just play there with your eyes closed and man, a meditation will just start happening before you know it. And it is unreal because sometimes your body just starts floating, you completely relax. Oh man, it's the best. But it is the end of the day, so I'm gonna call it quits on this video. I have two videos to edit now and have one up by tonight, so I gotta get to that very soon. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching these past few videos. Seriously, this, I have more news and stuff to share with you guys tomorrow. A thing just that just happened today that is literally the universe aligning with me in the most beautiful, perfect way. So I have a lot to share with you guys tomorrow and I will see you all very, 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 very shortly.